ബിയാ <laughs> All praise due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most wise who created this world with his wisdom. And the choicest of peace and blessings be upon his noblest messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who is the fountain of the treasures of wisdom. And we send peace and blessings upon his purified household and his brilliant companions alayhi muridwan who drank from his cup of wisdom and carried it forward. Welcome once again dear viewers of Madani channel. You are watching the program called The Grand Arrival of Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Alhamdulillah, thumma alhamdulillah. Throughout the world we are celebrating the maulud of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So fortunate subhanallah, so fortunate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had chosen the beloved Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam for this ummah and made us his ummatis and his followers. such a perfect role model subhanallah upon whom so many excellences have been bestowed so here dear viewers of the channel rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has been granted countless things and will continue to be granted more things which is beyond our imagination until the day of qiyamah imagine it from here that he azza wa jalla has elevated the remembrance for his beloved habib sallallahu alaihi wasallam by saying in the holy quran pak wa rafa'na laka dhikrak Subhanallah whatever limited knowledge and ilm we have about the master sallallahu alaihi wasallam thus using that limited knowledge we in our limited capacity celebrate the maulud of the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam we remember him we speak about his excellence we speak about his virtues but it is limited dear viewers of madani channel because the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam had said this to sayyidina siddiqi akbar radhiyallahu an who is the closest companion O oh, Abu Bakr my reality is only known to my lord my rabb azza wa jal besides him no one else knows the reality of me my actual reality is only known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah azza wa jalla has caused him to be remembered on the first heaven second heaven third heaven fourth fifth sixth seventh he sallallahu alaihi wasallam is remembered in jannah wherever the name of Allah azza wa jalla is written alongside is the name of the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سبحان الله so allah azza wa jalla has granted our beloved prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the pond of kawthar and the speciality of this pond dear viewers has been proven from many 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 ahadith of the beloved nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم and therefore we want to go there because it is stated by the scholars of islam that it is wajib upon us to have faith upon the pond of kawthar upon the pond that Allah almighty will bless our beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam with in the hereafter this pond will be blessed upon him in the hereafter whoever denies it according to the scholars is a transgressor he is a sinner and an uh, innovator allahu akbar may allah kareem give us the understanding of this dear viewers of the channel in fact hazrat sayyidina allama jalaluddin suyuti rahmatullahi ta'ala he states A hadith regarding the pond of Kawthar are narrated by more than 50 companions of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, for those who may not know are other messengers going to be granted any ponds is this only specific to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam here we present this hadith which is in Tirmidhi Sharif the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said there is one pond for every nabi and blessed anbiya alaihi wasallam so the blessed anbiya alaihi wasallam will feel proud amongst each other that whose pond would be more people at they will be happy and they will be proud subhanallah among one another that whose pond would more people come at and i 
Yani the beloved Nabi SAW says, and I am hopeful that most of the people will be at my pond, Al Kawthar. Subhanallah. This hadith can be found in Tirmidhi Sharif, dear viewers. So it's proven from here that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed one pond for every Nabi. But there is some specialities about this pond which is the largest. And the beloved Nabi discloses and says that, well, at my pond, there will be more people there. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Subhanallah. Our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa has stated undoubtedly, the water of the pond is whiter than milk. Sweeter than honey and cooler than ice. Its fragrance is better than musk and its bowls are more in number than the number of stars, dear viewers. Whoever drinks it will never get thirsty and the one leaving after drinking it, Allahu Akbar, will always remain quenched. Subhanallah. He would never find the need of quenching his thirst again once he is honored to drink from the pond of Kawthar. So can you imagine from amongst many excellence, many such virtues which is hidden from our sight and from our knowledge, Allah Azza has bestowed kawthar upon the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala had bestowed Sal Sabil upon the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes, we are going to go into the matter of where it stems from, where is the roots of this river, dear viewers of Madinah Channel. All of that will be mentioned, but trust me, this blessing is for special people, dear viewers of Madani Channel, subhanallah, who will drink from the pond of Kosar, who will be honored to benefit from the pond of Kosar, subhanallah, when on the day of Qiyamah, people's tongues will be dry and it will be hanging from their mouths like thorns because of the thirst and intense heat. During the day of Qiyamah, this is what ulama and scholars have said, I mean the sun being just above the head and each person, each human swimming and drowning in his own perspiration, اس وقت کا جو عالم ہوگا اللہ کریم بچا لے ہمیں اللہ کریم اپنے حبیب کے صدقے میں ہمیں بچائیں ڈی ایف یوز اف مدنی چینل فور فارچون ونز ول بی دوز ہوز تھرسٹ آل مائٹی اللہ ول کھنچ تھرو ہیز بلوٹ حبیب صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم پونڈ کال کوتر اٹ از دا ویری سیم پونڈ دیٹ ول بی دے فار دا Lovers for the ummatis of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And now narrations are here. They are narrations which mention certain good deeds through the blessings of which one will be granted the honor of drinking from the pond of Kothar. So let's present the summary of a few ahadith, dear viewers of Madinah channel. The water of Kothar will be given to the one who recites salat, yani salawat upon the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in abundance. Jo dinar rab kasra se durudhi paak padhe hai. The water of Kothar will be granted to the one who feeds the fasting people. May Allah Kareem enable us to do this, especially in the month of Ramadan Al Kareem. What a beautiful opportunity you have. If you want this water, if you want to avail, or if you want to be honored to drink from this water, dear viewers, here it goes. Learn to feed people. It begins from here. The beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says the one who feeds a fasting person and the one who recites the root upon me in abundance will be made to drink from the pond of Kothar. And lastly, dear viewers of Madhini Channel, oh, in fact, it is said, the water of Kothar will be given to the one who refrains from unnecessary speech. Control the tongue, which speaks unnecessarily. And the water of Kothar will be given to the one who gives water to those who travel in the way of Allah Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah Kareem shower mercy upon us. These are those actions and habits if we would introduce into our lives, it would be the cause of us attaining blessing from the pond of Kothar on the day of Qiyamah. What a beautiful action and thing to do, dear viewers. May Allah Kareem forgive our sins and may Allah Kareem make us drink from the pond of Kothar. Remember, as I mentioned, tongues will be hanging from the mouth. You and I would never ever ever be able to even imagine what can be the condition of the sinful ummah on the day of Qiyamah. However, subhanallah, subhanallah. Yes, dear viewers of Madini channel. Now, let's talk about the channels of water of the pond of Kothar. It is stated that the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa has stated two channels of water flow in the pond from Jannah, from paradise. One of them is made of gold and the other is made of silver. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. This hadith can be found in Sahih Muslim. Whereas another hadith in Sahih Muslim speaking about the length and the width of this pond, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa had stated that my pond is of one month's journey. Allahu Akbar. Its corners 
are equal. Allah, Allah, Allah. So it is muttafaqun alayh hadith. This hadith can also be found in Sahih al-Bukhari as well as in Muslim Sharif, dear viewers of Madani channel. It is stated in Miratul Manajih that the state of the length and width of the pond of Kosar, subhanallah, that is my pond, the beloved Nabi says, is such that if someone walks from one corner to the other, then he will reach there in one month. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Very beautifully explained, dear viewers of Madani channel, that if a person had to walk from one corner to the other corner, it would take a person one month to journey through the pond of Kosar. The pond of Kosar is square shaped, its length and width are equal. Every corner of it, it is right angled, neither acute nor obtuse. In fact, its depth is also the same from every corner, from everywhere. It's not that it's shallow at the edges and deeper in the middle, but rather it is equal throughout the pond of Kawthar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the blessings to benefit from this pond of Kawthar on the day of Qiyamah, dear viewers of Madani channel. Allahu Akbar. So many examples are there to make us understand. Now imagine this is just a single blessing from amongst so many other blessings, countless blessings beyond our imagination. This is the rif'at, this is the loftiest uh, situation and position of the holiest Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa has bestowed so many blessings upon him, the blessing of Mi'raj, dear viewers. From head to toe, the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has been sent as a miracle. He is the last prophet and after him no other prophet is to come. Allah Zawajalla has created this world for his sake. All of these are proven from the blessed ahadith and teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. And here, listen to this subhanallah. To make the companions understand, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam even given examples. So to say, my pond is from Adan, the capital of Yemen, to Amman Balqa. This hadith is in Musnad Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal. And Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala states that there is also a city called Yemen and there is also a place in Syria with the same name. Moreover, Balqa is a famous place in Syria, right? So from Yemen to Syria basically. Now, these examples were also given because these were those cities and countries or places at that time which were famous and known to people so the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa had used the examples of such cities which were not hidden from people, but rather it was known. Subhanallah. So, subhanallah, mentioning this dear views of Madani channel, some commentators have stated that the pond of Kosar will be wide in the sight of some people, very wide in the sight of other people, and extremely wide in the sight of many other people. Now, take for example this Wonderful and amazing example which the Holy Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had given that my pond of Kawthar is from Yemen, Subhanallah, Adan, the capital city of Yemen, all the way to Amman Balqa, which is a place in Syria. For our understanding, ye ek mithal de rahe, ke liye, Subhanallah, that uh, approximately if one has to calculate in this day and age, the distance between both these places, Subhanallah, it comes to in kilometers 2,340 kilometers. Converting it to miles, 1,451 miles. The plane that travels on an average speed of 560 kilometers per hour would take around three hours to cover this journey. At 560 kilometers per hour, traveling from Yemen to Syria would take three hours, approximately roughly to give us an understanding, dear viewers, subhanAllah. It's just amazing to learn that this is only the size of the pond. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So for some it would seem, though it is so huge, on the day of Qiyamah when some would see this, it would look very wide to them and very vast to them. Whereas others would find it to be even more wider and others would find it to be extremely wide and vast. This is also another miracle of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Kya baat hai ki diya viwaz of Madini channel. Now where will the pond of Kothar be situated? This is another question, subhanallah. So with regards to where is the exact position and the place of the pond of Kothar, there are various opinions regarding where will the pond of Kothar be situated. Imam Ibrahim bin Muhammad, uh, rahmatullahi ta'ala, great commentator in the hadith, he says, 
um, opinion of the majority is that the pond of Kothar will be situated before the bridge of Sirat, which is thinner than a strand of hair, sharper than a sword, and it will be placed on the back of the hell fire, and every person will be made to cross this bridge of Sirat. Some have approved this opinion because people will resurrect thirsty from their graves on the day of Qiyamah, so before they pass the bridge of Sirat, they will be drinking from this pond of Kothar, subhanAllah. Subhanallah. Moreover, some blessed scholars of Islam have mentioned that uh, the pond of Kothar will be situated after the bridge of Sirat. So once the Ummati has passed the bridge of Sirat, then he will be made to drink from the pond of Kothar. So keeping all these opinions in view, dear views of Madani channel, Subhanallah. Hazrat Sayyidina Imam Jalaluddin Suyuti Rahmatullahi Ta'ala states that uh, these facts can also coincide in such a way that some people will drink from the pond before crossing the bridge of Sirat, and some will drink from the bridge of uh, from the pond of Kosar after crossing the bridge of Sirat. Subhanallah. So, their sins will be cleansed in this way before and after. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So, some of, some scholars have also mentioned that there is one pond before the bridge of Sirat, and there is another pond of Kosar after the bridge of Sirat. But here, Imam Jalaluddin Suyuti, rahmatullahi taala, has given his opinion. And majority of the scholars have taken this opinion as well, dear viewers of Madinian channel. In fact, Hazrat Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu also inquired from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the pond of Kosar, subhanallah. And he asked, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, intercede for me on the day of Qiyamah. I desire your shafa'at on the day of Qiyamah. And this is the desire of every devotee. Har aashiqi rasul ye chahta ki usse sarkar ki shafa'at baroze qiyamat naseeb ho, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah forgive us and may Allah grant us his intercession, dear viewers, Amin, Thumma Amin. So this companion expressed his desire, and uh, he is that fortunate companion who remained in the khidmat of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam for several years. When he expresses his desire, then the beloved Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to him, "I will, insha Allah, I will intercede for you." Allahu Akbar. He then said, "Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, where shall I seek and find you?" He sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Seek me on the bridge of Sirat." I said. What if on the bridge of Sirat I cannot find you there? Then he sallallahu alayhi wa said, You will find me by Mizan, the scale. He radiallahu anhu then, then said, Yani Anas radiallahu an, If I do not find you at Mizan as well, then where should I find you? He sallallahu alayhi wa then said, O oh, Anas, then you will find me at the pond of Kawthar. Allahu Akbar. I will definitely be in one of those three places. This hadith is in Tirmizi Sharif, subhanallah. The beloved Nabi will be awaiting his ummatis at the bridge of Sirat, he will be at Mizan, and he will be at the pond of Kothar. Every ummati will be in search of the beloved Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Sayyidi Ala Hadrat, rahmatullahi ta'ala, speaks about the Rasai and the excellence of the Holy Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the Day of Judgment. And this is where many of his other excellence will come in view to the entire world when everyone will see uh, the excellence of the beloved Rasul clear as the sun, dear viewers, clear as daylight when Allah Azza will grant him the station of Mahmud, maqam Mahmud, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Allah says, Sunte ki mahashar mein sirf un ki rasai hai sunte hai ki mahashar mein sirf un ki rasai hai sunte hai महशर में सिर्फ उनकी रसाई है गर उनकी रसाई है लो जब जो बनाई है गर उनकी रसाई है In the closing couplet of this 
uh, does not, though it's seeming as if he makes it into a question or affirming that Suntehi ki mahashar mein. We have heard that this is the situation and this is the excellence and this is the maqam and the authority of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he has a very high position and reach. Subhanallah. But in the closing couplet he says, Matla mein ye kya shakta wallah raza wallah. Sirf unki rasai hai. Sirf unki rasai hai. Subhanallah. It's a different um, discussion altogether, dear viewers, with regards to the day of Qiyamah. But here it is proven that he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, will come to quench the thirst of his ummatis. Kaash hame wo paani naseeb ho huzur ki mubarak haato se. Kawthar ka paani, kawthar ka jam hame naseeb ho huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ki mubarak haato se. However, let's speak about what Allah Hadrat then says. They are true. One is a pond of kawthar and one is a... One is the pond, the river of Kawthar, and one is a fountain called Sal Sabil. Allahu Akbar. Have we heard about Sal Sabil before, dear viewers of Madinin channel? This also um, is something which is gifted and granted to the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. Allah Hadrat says in his poetry, Jisiki do boond hai Kawthar o Sal Sabil जिसकी दो बूंद है कौसरो सल सबील जिसकी दो बूंद है कौसरो सल सबील है वो रहमत का दरिया हमारा नबी है वो रहमत का दरिया But here Allah Hadrat Rahmatullahi Ta'ala is mentioning the excellence of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and pointing, pointing out the greatness of his mercy. In other words, the river of Kawthar and the fountain of Sal Sabil are both such great bounties of Allah Azza wa Jalla to the believers, dear viewers. But Allah Hadrat says here, these are such great blessings, yet they are only two drops from the vast shoreless seas of mercy of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ye dono daryaon ke bas do qatre hain huzur ki rahmat se Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Subhanallah Subhanallah dear viewers of Madani channel these are only two drops now Sal Sabil as I mentioned Allah Hazrat explains here Sal Sabil is the foundation of Jannah Sal Sabil is the fountain of Jannah the pure water of which will be blessed only to the pious servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it will also be uh, mixed with the drink of the other dwellers of Jannah, who will be honored to drink from the pond of Kawthar and Sal Sabil. So Allah Hazrat Rahmatullahi Ta'ala is saying here in this beautiful couplet that can you imagine when these two great Jannati blessings are just two drops from the ocean of our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa mercy, then what can be said about the entire sea of mercy who is known as Rahmatul Lil Alameen, Sayyiduna Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Jisiki do bund ghe kasar o sal sabil Jisiki do Subhanallah. So it is such a blessing, and Allah Subhanahu has bestowed this blessing in such a place. Jo is zameen se hat ke hai. Don't ever imagine that Sal Sabil and uh, Hawde Kawthar is going to be on this land, on this planet. In fact, Hadrat Sayyidina Imam Muhammad Qurtubi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala had stated, May this thought never even come to your mind that the pond of Kawthar will be situated on the face of this very earth. In fact, the pond of Kawthar will be situated on a different ground that will be white like silver or whiter than silver. Neither would there have been any bloodshed, nor would have anyone been oppressed on that land, on that place. Allahu Akbar. 
So it is free from bloodshed, it is free from quarrels and oppression and all of that, subhanAllah, it is a place which is purified and Allah Azza has situated this pond at such a place. Inna a'atayna kal kawthar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. So we mention about all, all those who will drink first from this pond. Listen to this amazing narration, dear viewers. Hadrat Sayyidina Ali al Murtada, Karram Allahu Ta'ala Wajhahul Kareem has stated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had said, Avalu man yaridu alayya al hawda ahalu bayti. وَمَنْ أَحَبَّنِي مِنْ أُمَّتِي Allahu Akbar The first ones to come to my pond of kawthar are my ahl bayt and among my ummah are those who have devotion and love for me. So they shall be the first to benefit and to drink from the pond of kawthar. These are two qualities, dear viewers of Madani channel, that we should love the ahl bayt, the, the, the family of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his amazing itara, his purified household, as well as his Mubarak Ashab, subhanallah, the people that uh, are, are close to the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The beloved Nabi says, and those who love me. So we can love the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not only with our tongues, but rather practically, dear viewers of Madani channel. Practically, we need to follow him, obey him, and uh, merge ourselves into Islam completely, not from the mind, not from the tongue. This has been restricted to our tongues for far too long. It now, time has now arrived that we practically prove this from our actions by following his sunnah, by becoming a practical Muslim, by making tawbah in the court of Allah Azza wa Jalla using these months uh, as a form of blessings. For Allah Azza wa Jalla is showering countless blessings in the month in which he had sent his favor upon the ummah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his mercy unto, unto mankind in this merciful month. Turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek forgiveness, dear viewers. If you want to benefit from this pond of kawthar, do not cause any grief and taklif to the heart of the Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by speaking ill of his, of his ahl bayt, by speaking ill of any person that's close to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because love for him means you should not cause any harm to the Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in any way, dear viewers of Madinin channel. Now here I present another narration uh, narrated by Hazrat Sayyidina Imam Hassan رضي الله تعالى عنه. He states that do not keep enmity against us, as the Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم has stated. Allahu Akbar. The one who holds enmity and jealousy towards us will be turned away from the pond of kawthar on the day of judgment. And he says, Allahu Akbar, بصيات من نار. And he will be whipped with fire, with the whips of fire. May Allah Kareem have mercy on our souls, dear viewers. We are too delicate and we can never tolerate this punishment for those who have any sort of enmity with the family of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallama subhanallah, subhanallah. Dear viewers of Madani channel, if we want and we desire to drink from this pond, then follow what the ulama and the scholars have also stated, subhanallah. It is stated if you want to have a bowl full of abe kawthar, Yani the water from the pond of course, then recite this dua. It's a durood which you should recite upon the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hazrat Sayyidina Hassan Basri rahmatullahi ta'ala states the one who wants to drink a bowl full of water from the pond of kawthar shall recite this durood. You should recite this durood ipaq subhanallah. Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa awladihi wa azwajihi wa durriyatihi wa ahli baytihi wa asharihi wa ansarihi wa ashya'ihi wa muhibbihi wa ummatihi wa alayna ma'ahum ajma'ina ya arhamar rahimin Subhanallah, if you would recite this durood pak and I make niya to also recite this durood, Subhanallah Firstly, we should excessively recite durood pak upon him and if you recite this particular durood then it is hoped that you could also benefit from the pond of kawthar on the day of qiyamah Let's recite this beautiful couplet which uh, this poet expresses, in which the, a poet expresses his desire and he says in the form of poetry um, expressing his love and desire in the court of the Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, his tamanna and his desire is tamanna dile ashraf bas itni hai mahshar Tamanna dil-e-ashraf Bas itni gai 
سر محشر جب آقا جام کو تر دے لب اقدس لگا کر دے جب آقا جام کو تر دے لب اقدس لگا کر دے اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر it is a desire and every devotee and every عاشق and lover of the holiest prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم has a certain wish and desire and this ummati says ya rasulullah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم through your blessings when we get there to benefit and to drink from the pond of kawthar then it should be such that when I am gifted and granted this cup of kawthar from your blessed hands then the beloved rasul صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم is a request and plea ya rasulullah if you could place your mubarak lips upon the glass before I could drink from it, subhanallah. From the hands of the Holy Rasul after he places his blessed lips on it. It's a way and desire of expressing love, dear viewers of Madani channel. Subhanallah. He understands all languages. The Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam understands every language for Allah azawajallah has granted him such knowledge that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would understand the languages of every ummati and every ummati because he has made the Nabi for the people until the day of Qiyamah, the final prophet. And every plea comes to him. He doesn't only take and listen to the issues and matters related to human beings or only those who speak Arabic. Rather, you speak any language in the world and any creature, any creation of Allah Azza wa Jalla that lives on this planet. He is the Rasul for every thing, dear viewers. He is Rahmatul Lil Alameen. He has made merciful unto this entire mankind. He has sent as mercy unto mankind. So, Allah Azza wa Jalla has granted him such ilm and knowledge and you should present your plea from your heart in the court of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam without any hesitation. Koi shak na ho dil mein, koi waswasa na ho ki shayad meri fariyat suni ja rahi hai, shayad nahi suni ja rahi hai. There is nothing of that sort dear viewers of Madani channel. Allah Hadrat also removes this doubt from your heart and he says, be proud that you are the ummati of such a great Nabi whose treasures have no bound, there is no end to it. We have such a kareem. Such a generous Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who is kareem, who is generous. His hands are open, khule hai haath aur bhare khazane. And his treasures are filled to capacity. It is overflowing because Allah has given him the keys to his treasures and everything is created for him. Allahu Akbar. And then he says, Batao e mufliso ke phir kyu? O grief-stricken people, then why are our hearts absorbed in doubt? Whether or not we will receive from the court of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeh shakhi na kare. Yeh socho hi mat. Balke have ummid and hope. Subhanallah that you will attain help and salvation from his bargah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. It is the reality and truth. Any ummati who calls out from his heart to the Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is there to listen to your plea. Firstly in the hadith of the Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He explains and he says, Allah Azzawajalla has made it forbidden upon the earth to consume and eat the bodies of the Anbiya alayhi wa salatu wasalam. They are alive and Allah provides rosy for them. Subhanallah. They receive blessings and sustenance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this proves that when all the messengers are alive, when all the prophets of Allah Azzawajalla are receiving blessings and sustenance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their graves and they live a similar life, they have life in them as this is our iman and aqeedah, subhanallah. Then what will be the condition of imamul anbiya, the leader of all the other messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tu zinda hai wallah, tu zinda hai wallah, mere chashmeh alam se chup jane wale. Dear viewers of Madhiri channel, Allah Hazrat Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali expressing his love and devotion once again strengthens our aqeedah. He makes a cement that he listens to your plea and to your call, subhanallah. If you call out to him for any help and assistance through the sadqah and wasila of the Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, your problems will come to an end. He says, Fariyad ummati jo kare haal zaar mein Fariyad ummati jo kare سے اتارو راہ گزر
نظر کو خبر نہ ہو جبریل پر بچھائے تو پر کو خبر نہ ہو سبحان اللہ دیا ویوز آف مدنی چینل The Prophet وسلم, understands all languages and here uh, we would like to present a beautiful uh, Madani clip inshallah a, a, a video which will subhanallah in which we will be inspired to watch and understand that he sallallahu alayhi wasallam has been gifted and granted the languages of all creatures in this universe insan to insan aap janwaron ki bhi boli samajhte hain aap jinnaton ki bhi boli samajhte hain farishto farishte bhi kalam farmate hain he صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم has been given the knowledge of every language in the world and here we shall return after this madani pearl sallu ala al-habib صلی اللہ تعالی علی محمد صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم Our beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam was granted the understanding of all the languages by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whenever a stranger visited the beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam whose language nobody understood the noble rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam would not only understand it but even would reply to him in that very language and the example of this is once a foreign delegation visited the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam in masjidul haram none of them knew our beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam one of them asked in his mother tongue that who amongst you is the rasul of allah sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wa alihi wasallam However, not a single one of the listeners understood what was said. The beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied, "Come here towards me." They approached him and engaged in conversation. The holy Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded to them in their native language and conversed with them. They eventually converted to Islam and pledged allegiance to him and returned to their native people. Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan rahmatullahi alayhi writes, that the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam naturally understands all of the languages of this world when he sallallahu alaihi wasallam understands the languages of animals stones and even pebbles then why wouldn't he sallallahu alaihi wasallam understand the language of all humans sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad MashaAllah, SubhanAllah, kya baat hai Madini ki and uh, this was a mubalig of Da'wat Islami who had given us a little uh, synopsis into this fact and reality that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is made and sent as such a great Nabi whom Allah Zawajalla has given the knowledge of everything in this planet and more that we can't even imagine. So he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam understands all languages and this has been proven from time to time when people came with different negations and different um, options uh, some had come one bed one came in the court of the holy rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was a bed one a villager and he brought in iguana a lizard and he says to the prophet of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if you are the messenger of allah azza wa jalla then i will believe if only my iguana could testify that you are the prophet of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam then said to him that's not a big problem he does recognize who I am and then the, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam turning towards iguana focusing his attention towards iguana the iguana and then said to him that tell who am i and then the iguana had testified and mentioned that you are the prophet of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah seeing this that bedwan had also embraced islam these are some stories dear viewers and some narrations which are present in many many books subhanallah which from which we learn that this is the maqam of the holy rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam when an iguana and lizard and other animals such as birds and other creatures would come and present their plea in the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then phir insaan ki boli aap kyun nahi samajh sakte Allahu Akbar the poet says Heeran ne utne chidiyon ne ki yahi faryaad Heeran ne utne chidiyon ne ki yahi faryaad ke mere gham ka mada
Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So even camels would present their plea in the court of the Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa other creatures as well. So if they could present their plea, you as insan, you stand a greater chance, dear viewers of Madani Channel. Allah Azza has made you the best in terms of creation. From many other creations, insan is the best, subhanallah. And you are the ummati and follower of the Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Turn towards him. Wahi bharte hai jholiyan sab ki. Kyunki woh samajhte hai. Boliyan sab ki. Wahi bharte hai jholiyan sab ki. Kyunki woh samajhte hai. Boliyan sab ki. Aao bazaar Mustafa ko chale. Gham khushi mein wahi pe badalte hai. May Allah kareem forgive our sins. And may Allah kareem bless us. Through the sadaqa and through the medium and approach of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our every breath is for his sake. Our families and our possessions, our assets, whatever we have is all for the sake of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Having said these few words, dear viewers of Madani channel, we make dua to, the, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our sins to be forgiven. Until next time, stay good, be good, do good wherever you are. Keep yourself reminded that this is the mission of your da'wati islami. I must strive to reform myself and the people of the entire world. Insha Allah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Marhaban ya Mustafa. Marhaban ya Mustafa. The grand arrival of Mustafa. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mustafa <laughs>